Hi guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we discovered what is the back end and what is the front end. And the front end part, the coding is done over here. And this is a text view, this is a button, this is a bigger view, these are smaller views. And this is how the UI looks after we code using these things, which we are going to learn after some time. Now I'll go to the structure of these folders and what they mean with respect to a project. So let's open this app. And the first folder we see is called a manifest. Now, if you are not seeing, seeing this kind of uh, structure, you can click over here and click on Android. So the first folder we are going to look into is manifest. Let's open it. And there's a file called Android manifest.xml. Double open it. So this is basically a set of rules. So anything that has a rule book or a set of rules, this is defined in this Android manifest file. For example, let's say uh, we are making a web browser. So we need our application to connect using internet. Now the Android application and the Google play store doesn't know that we need internet. So we are going to define our permissions somewhere over here, which we are going to look in the future videos. But imagine this, when you're downloading a new app, it asks for various permissions and it says that, Hey, this application is going to be using your external storage is going to be using your internet and after only you accept those conditions, it starts installing your application. If you don't remember, try installing a new app on your mobile phone. So we put all these permissions over here and these are called user permissions. And that's pretty much it for Android manifest file. Now let's go to the second file called Java. We'll open it and there are three folders. First, a package name, then Android test or something known as test. Now these are required by Android itself. We don't need to worry about these both folders. We need to worry about this first folder. When you open it, as you can see, there's our Java file main activity, which is basically this file. So all of our backend files are going to be going over here. We can create a new backend file by right clicking over here and going to new and new Java class. We are not going to create anything right now. Then there is this third third folder called resource folder. Let's open it. First is the drawable folder. Now any image that we put, want to put in an Android project goes in this drawable folder. We'll have a look at it in the future. Then there is this layout folder. Layout folder basically contains our frontend files. These are our frontend file. Let's close this Android manifest file. This is our front, frontend file. Let's create a new frontend file by going to new layout resource file and then writing the name of the resource file. We'll not create it right now, but we are going to create it in future. Let's go to this minmap file. Now, as you can see, this is our launcher icon. We'll double click on it and you'll be able to see this our launcher icon. Now, when you install this application on a mobile phone, this will be the icon that you will see on your screen. And after clicking this icon, the web browser will open. Obviously we can change it but let's not worry about this right now and let's focus on making the application. Let's close it. Let's go to the next part called values. Now it has four folders, colors, dimensions, strings.xml, styles.xml. You don't need to worry about this first, the second, this third. What you need to worry is about the styles.xml. Now, if you're making a very complex app, which you are not, then we we'll, maybe we'll put something in colors.xml, dimensions.xml, strings.xml. You can Google them to find what this is about, but right now it's not very important. What important is styles. Let's click open the styles.xml. Now styles.xml defines our theme. For example, if you look at the theme right now, it's kind of bluish. It has an action bar. So this is our theme, right? Instead of this theme, we can put a white theme or a light gray theme, something like that. So what we are going to do, we are going to do some changes in the styles.xml in the future and remove this action bar because instead of action, this action bar, we want uh, edit text. Edit text is basically the place where we are going to write our HTTP w.google.google.com. We are going to write an edit text over here and a go button over here. Pressing the go button, we'll be able to go to the website. So this is what we'll do in the styles.xml. Now this grid and strips for the most part, you don't have to worry about it, but we are launching the application in the, on the Google play store. Then we'll need to make some changes inside, inside it, but we won't worry about this right now. Uh, let's just focus on making the application. So that is pretty much it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video.